everyone and welcome to my channel lilies and blush my name is suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video which is decorating my a5 wide or estelle that i will be using for next year for 2022 um i am excited it is my first a5 wide or estelle and this is the what she looks like i did i think an unboxing already of her before and kind of gone over what the inside kind of looks like but i'll do that again obviously as we go through and decorate her together so i do have some other frosted dividers in here but i don't think i'll need those but we'll see i don't think i will um and this is all of the goodies that i've bought so far um and kind of to set up Thing. So I'll go through kind of how I want to decorate her in a way. Um, so the overall theme is Disney. I'm going to go ahead and kind of open her up and show you what's inside here first. So we've got two Villa Beautiful pens. I'm going to go ahead and take these out for now though. Um, but this one was the Duke from the, um, the Duchess um, Villa Beautiful Luxe kit. Um, that they came out with for November, I believe. Um, but this was the Duke pen. And then this one here, I think was one I had already had a while back. Um, and it's just really pretty pink, dark blue. Um, yeah, I think they're like dark blue and then like a lighter blue colors. So I thought it went perfectly with kind of that theme and it's silver and gold and the silver hardware here. So I'll be trying to kind of stick with silver and gold even though I'm a lover of rose gold for at least the decoration part. So, um, so yeah, so I have this sheet here, uh, when you wish upon a star, I will try to link everything that I use today or where I got it from, um, below, but I just found this one and I thought the girl was really cute. I love the outfit. Um, and then the balloons and everything and just the color scheme in general, again, kind of went with that. And then we have the gold in there. And then I have my kit planning section. So again, frosted divider. And then to kind of protect that first page, but then also um, to protect the next set of pages. So I did accidentally hole punch a few of these pages in the wrong way. I had them printed for me by Print Prussians. They came from, I believe it, oh yeah, Annie Plans Printables. So I will link her below, but um, and print pressure below, but I have this washi tape from, um, Scribble Prince Co. That's what I was trying to say. This washi tape from Scribble Prince Co. Um, that I got in a mystery box, I think last Christmas or last winter time. Um, but she did the big boxes of mystery stuff. I just got this washi tape from her. And so I just used that on the side cause it would kind of make it stick out a little bit as well um and kind of show that and then this is just the uh, i'm going to have to bring you guys out like a little bit more there to see everything huh um so this is just how i plan out kits from month to month all the way through you can see i did that all the way through may and then june i figured out how to punch them properly but for the monthly page so i do have these inserts from print passion and i love them because they're basically completely blank very little lines um just enough to kind of guide um putting down stickers but that's it and then i had these um monthly stickers i don't remember again exactly the shop but i will link her below um and i just did them in the varying different so i did go world school but it's just because i have them um and I hadn't really decided exactly what, if I was going to do silver and rose gold or silver and gold. So I figured at least for the monthly pages, I could do the different foil options and just kind of switch through them. Uh, so for January, we have rose gold. And then these are the, I'll show you the actual insert pages. So we have that. And then I go gold February. Um, and then silver march and then just kind of went in that direction um as much as I could there was some moments of um like you know April had to be gold because I think I'd already used the rose golds for April and so then May became rose gold and then it was silver June and then let's see so 
essentially I bought stickers for some of the months already. I may or may not lay them down in this video if I feel like it, like I'm for sure wanting to use them, but I will at least decorate January. And then of course also figuring out how I want to decorate um, in the front here. And then also how I want to decorate in the back. And this will also give me an idea of what else I still need to get. Uh, but I wanted to at least start off with you guys. And then I can always do an update later of kind of how I finish decorating or when I do the plant, the float through at the end of the year, you'll kind of see any updates or changes I've made. Um, but I might, maybe I'll do like a little like June and show you like January to June what I've decorated for the these because I definitely don't have, think I have stickers for every single month yet um because again I'm trying to keep it a Disney theme so I'm just waiting for more Disney kind of themed seasonal things to come out and I definitely found some more stickers that I want to get um for the monthly pages but oh so what I did in here as well was there was monthly pages but I just um glued them together to to make this dashboard and then as you saw here this is the end of the month here and then um again I just glued together the um or I didn't like glue it I used this like sticky tape stuff and just stuck them together as perfect as best I could <laughs> um and then did that these were already pre-punched and everything as well and um I believe like they're un they're undated so each week came with five weeks so I think right one I don't think that they came like set up. I think it was always one, two, three. Yeah, maybe it was just four weeks, but maybe that's me doing it that way. I know I went through and like figured out each month, the amount of weeks I needed for each month. And so I may have just pulled out those extra weeks already um, and put them somewhere, but I don't know where I would have put them then. So I'm not sure, maybe yeah but I had that kind of all set up and figured out already oh and then here in the back I have a page lifter um to again help protect everything in the back um because I want to keep these in as nice condition as possible um and everything for throughout the year so let's go through kind of what I've got so like I said I do have some more frosted um page things but I don't need or dividers but I don't think I need those so let's see I'm gonna kind of let's set this aside for now I'm just gonna kind of divide things up maybe seasonally so this is more fall stuff and I don't know that I really have anything Disney related in there this could be kind of general but I think this is meant to go with the wintry stuff that's obviously kind of Christmassy these are from Scribble Prince Co these here and then these are like mixed die cuts from Scenic Serenity and a few other places um, so again, I may not know for sure where they came from or remember because some of these I've had forever. This would definitely be more of a, like a wintry and I think this was meant to kind of go with this. So this is more Christmassy. This is more wintry. I do have some little like paper cardstock pieces. So I kind of just pull those out and separate them. This is definitely like March. This is like a birthday one. This is like Harry Potter stuff, Hufflepuffs kind of thing. Again, another like card kind of backing another little like kind of Christmassy one more like fall Halloween nightmare before Christmas so I guess that could go honestly either way but probably would use that more Halloween this one I was this was definitely more like the Disney Disney stuff so like general Disney that I might use in the front but I also might save some of it for June because that is when we are supposed to go to Disneyland um, and that'd actually be good to use. I need to get some Hufflepuff stickers for that month as well, or some hot Harry Potter type stickers or Universal stickers, but I'm either at Disney or missing Disney. And then here's just, these were from, I think the print Prussian um, thing, but then we've got like, this is from, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of their shop, but I really like them. Um, they do like Asian food stuff um trying to these dumplings and wonton things wonton and a million there we go that i knew was gonna come to me wonton and a million so a little han solo 
And then we've got the castles, the different castles, which I think, I think this one is the one in Disney. I think this is the Disneyland castle, but I could be wrong. Could have those all mixed up. I'm pretty sure this is the Paris castle. Yeah, this is the Paris castle, because that's what this one is. So probably won't use that in June, but maybe I'll use that in the front area. And then this adorable little like photo thing with like Mickey and Minnie ears. Um, a list of a bunch of like Disney movies, the castle, again, like just stuff with little like Disney Mickey ears on it and stuff like that. And then another little like backing sheet. So I'll separate that out. So this is just like general Disney stickers, not really like a holiday themed. This is like spring. So we'll do here. We'll do like winter and Christmas stuff together. Cause then I can decide what's going to be January and what's going to be December. Um, and then spring my birthday's like in the summer this would be kind of summer and then some more spring then we have a bunch of valentine's day stuff but i'm just gonna kind of put that with that um then we have a bunch of again more wintry kind of things we got some princesses and pajamas i'll kind of show you guys as i i'll show you as i go through them um and then we have new year's stuff we do have marvel like little sheet another bigger card that's got the like um i can't remember what they call it like the uh, louis vuitton style kind of thing to it but with stars moons and hearts and mickey ears and then oh i have these from um coffee monster co when she did her calendar last year and these are all like disney princess and Disney movie kind of themed cards that I figured I could find a use for or put down. This is the only one that had like the little words on it. So it's super cute. So we'll put those aside with the cards. And then I also have this sticker sheet set from Happy Planner Princess One. And it's got, oh, I forgot that this sheet was in here too. So this is like a Scrooge Prince Co. Planner Sheet, Planner Sticker Kit Sheet, but we got all these like really large stickers that I figured would be cute. The ones with the like wording and stuff on them could be really cute or just like these plain kind of circle ones and they're all foiled. So I'll kind of show you guys, maybe like angle that a little bit more or here, bring it down more um or bring zoom me out more <laughs> that would probably be the better thing but so we've got like a lot of different like shapes some of them are obviously more kind of like planner related stuff like date night and stuff like that obviously but um do you figured these really big ones that would be almost like full box status could be really good we've got the little like they're named there so those could be cute to add to like maybe if i do a snow white themed spread and then obviously you got these huge stickers here that could be used if I'm doing like a theme for each princess or something. So maybe on the non like holiday, non really themed months, I could do just a princess theme using these. So again, Cinderella, and then we've got Tiana. I'm just gonna kind of flip through these. We've got Ariel, right? Yeah, that's Tiana. So Ariel, that would be a good like summery one. Tiana maybe too would be a good summary one with her colors. And then Aurora. And yeah, Belle wasn't in this one, right? Yeah, at the front kind of shows you the different princesses that are in this one. And then we do also have these huge phrases here. So we've got, I think I tried to use one of these at one point, but like dream with all your heart, see the good in every day. Like these ones really will be really pretty and then colored one as well. And then these big like circular ones here again, like just super cute. And then deco ones of like the little like sidekick friends of everybody, several pages of those. And then like a girl's night stickers, but these are more again for like marking actual event stuff, but lots of sticker options to kind of like fill in around the bigger stickers um and then maybe for again for a time when i don't really have anything i could use this so i'm so excited about that we'll put this sticker sheet away so i'm not going to use that so 
So I guess we start with, let's start with the flaps because I want to make sure I have everything I want to use for them. So I'm just like kind of getting rid of any little baggies or extra things. Oh, Alexa's dinging at me. Um, Alexa, cancel. <laughs> he loves to call me on the little like Alexa thing um, all the time, but that's cute. So um, actually give me one second gonna move this over and then I'm going to oh see my gosh, guys. I literally saw I've been filming this entire time. <laughs> I turned off my camera to talk to my son and then I swear I pressed the button to start filming again. I swear I did but maybe I didn't. I guess I didn't because it didn't record anything that I've been doing, anything that I've been talking about. Like I don't even know yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, I think it, it literally ended last when I paused the video to show it to my son. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. So what I've done so far, I'll just kind of catch you up, I guess, on what I've done so far. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm like really sad because I was like talking a lot about planner stuff and like really getting into it when I realized that I like looked up at the camera to make sure I was in view and it was like black screen. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so I guess you kind of missed some of my fumbling and stumbling process, but what I've got so far is that I cut down some of the cards. I pulled um, some papers from a box that I didn't show you guys before, but I'll, I'll show you as I use them or if I use them. But I have this paper here that I kind of put in here, and then I have these four papers in here that I've um, I trimmed down this one to fit perfectly in here and then slid this one inside that same pocket but have it sticking up so I get one more pocket use um, for everything I want to do and then this, these two as other backgrounds for those two pockets and I'm just kind of trying to figure out these stickers inside there. Um, at the same time I was answering some get to know me questions that were planner related. I also have some other ones um like just random ones in general some that are planner related and some that are most that are not like if I have a bunch that are planner related and then I have a bunch that are not so I figured I just kind of work through them as I do videos and need something to talk about um I think Planna Hannah does that a lot and I really liked it enjoyed it her doing just kind of like random questions but I thought I'd start at least with planner related ones first as I'm doing planner videos um, so I guess we'll just get back to it. I'll just start from the beginning because I don't think I started with those at all um, in the previous clip. So <laughs> there we go. Um, but so far I have, so I'm wanting to do this as a representation of me in general. So I have, there's like the wax sticker here. I have some book stickers I pulled from um, a spring, the spring sticker set um, that I keep dropping these little washi stickers. I'm losing them. There we go. Um, I don't know that I'll necessarily use those because I'm not a big washi person anymore. Um, but yeah, so essentially um, I place the movies and the I'm either a Disney or missing Disney sticker here and then have the book, sh the little like Mickey Mouse shaped bookshelf here and then our book cart here and then have the like little outfit set here. Um, and then again, I'm now I'm going to kind of figure out how I want to set these two up. So I'm just kind of adjusting the cards for a height so that way these stickers aren't completely blocking the pattern behind it. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to go in and just do that. I think I'd kind of set it like I wanted this set up, um, where it's the flowers with the book stack. Yeah, I think it, it goes this way, it must go this way, so there we go, and then it doesn't cover that. Okay, so do the planner questions as we talk. So, um, I, let's see, first one, what bag do you carry your planner in? So that is my Aura Stell, uh tote is what I normally carry all my stuff in right now. Um, but also, of course, mainly my... See, I don't know if I do want to do the castle back there or not. Like, maybe I'll just do this scene. And then it's not a big deal if that's covered because it's not, like, the castle I'm going to be seeing in the summer. But it's still, like, a cute little, like, scene. 
and then again another book here or I could just do the castle off to the side and then the wax there oh, that's cute okay I think I like that I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to stick in there with the like do I want to do the ears Or like the luggage tag. Or do I want to have the washi in there? That's kind of cute. There's a washi. Do I did I lose the other little tiny? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm like focusing. Um, yeah, so I, it, my pocket planner is the only one I carry with me all the time. So it kind of just fits in all bags, but I mostly use my Aura Cell tote for everything. And so it's usually, home is usually my Aura Cell, my black Aura Cell tote, which I have a um, unboxing of on my channel already. If you want to check that out. And then next question, how many planners do you actually use at one time? I use three at one time, one for work that is exclusively pen and I keep at work unless I'm working from home and then I bring it home. But again, it is exclusively for my work to do's and meetings, appointments, things like that, anything related to work. Um, and then I have um, my... Oristel B6 currently, and then my Oristel A5 wide starting next year. That will be for my, um, that will be for memory planning. And then I have my pocket Oristel right here that I was talking about just a second ago. Um, and that goes with me everywhere. And that's for my day to day, um, overall planner tracking everything like just my week as it's happening the memory planning is tracking my weeks that have been already or not tracking them but like memory scrapbooking them and essentially in a, essentially in a way um and then yeah that's it and then what is your planning routine is the next question so i'm gonna move to the back um i'm gonna leave those for now i haven't decided if i need to secure them i also haven't decided if i'm gonna remove the string back here or not. I don't use the strings ever in the Aura styles. So I'm trying to decide. But these two papers I pulled, I believe both of these were for, from the Beautiful for the um, collection, the Duchess collection um, that I mentioned earlier with the pins and stuff. So I was going to see like how I wanted to use this to fill up back here like I also kind of want to see just what will sh what shows when I'm looking back here exactly so like that will kind of help fill in how I want to do it because if I do that then this will just peek out the top and then it's cute but I don't love it for the coloring I don't know and then maybe not that one but then I do want something peeking from here and maybe from the top here. Maybe if I do the pink, I'm just doing this. The pink rose there, I can just cut that down to just go there and across the top. That could be cute ish see about that so maybe this will stay for this piece and then I do want something here um, trying to see what else I have I might wait on that back part and see like if I get any like memory things or whatever. That's also what I might use. I was saying for this pocket, I might use um, 
for memory stuff. So like tickets I get from Disneyland or just anything that's like holds like is relevant to something that I did in here. I could store in here or have stick out this side as well if they're like kind of go in a way. Um, so yeah, I think, I think for the overall look, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and stick these back in here. I think I decided this one. I can't remember which order I put these in. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's cute. There we go. That's actually perfect. And then we'll do the months, January to start potentially. So these ones I feel like are very Christmas related. This one is more holiday or more winter. These ones are definitely more Christmassy and I'll probably use in December. And then this one, I really liked this look. I'm kind of wishing I'd used a silver January instead of a rose gold January. But I feel like this could be really cute. Big sticker to start off the year. And then also I could use these new year things that are from last year that go really well and then can add some silver in there with those earrings maybe mm. okay sorry so what is your planning routine that was the last question so um it is so on Mondays, I start my work planner. Um, I start to fill that out for the whole week and then I just day by day fill it in. Um, for my pocket, it's the same thing. Sunday night, Monday morning, I go through and I kind of fill it out for the week. What do I have planned already um, or what needs to get done already? And then I fill it in as I go day by day um, of what actually happens so that I can use for the pocket, so I can use it for memory planning. And then obviously for my work one, it's kind of so that I have um, an idea of what I fill out for my time card and just in general, what did I get done and what did I not get done and stuff like that. So I don't think this really goes with the theme. I feel like the bottles would go and then the phone with the music. Um, and then I really like the cupcake. I don't think the pajamas. So I do really love the brownie, but I don't think I have room for the brownie. So if I do this one over here, I can do the bottles. Do I want Moet or do I want Chloe? I think I want Chloe. That might be something I actually drink. I would actually drink. And then I can do that or I can do it on top of it. I don't know. And then the balloon. And then do I want to do the earrings or do I want to do... I don't know. This is hard to do with how I place the January. I'm kind of wishing I hadn't put the months down first. Well, that's cute though, actually. The balloon and the cupcake. And I can do that so it doesn't... Or do, kind of, there we go. Cupcake balloon here. And earrings. Mm -hmm. I do the phone like that, and then do the bottle like that, and then the earrings down here. Oh, I like that. That looks cute. I like it. Okay, cool. So I will go ahead and lay those down. I'm fairly sure these are stickers and not just. I'm sorry, so I don't even know what I was saying. Okay, planning routine, I think that's it. Uh, what snacks do you eat during planning? I don't snack during planning because I don't want to get food on the stickers or on my planner. So I do not snack during planning. Um, I usually make sure I eat before I start to plan so that I'm not hungry while I'm planning. But today I failed at that miserably because I am a little hungry right now. And when did you start planning? So this is where I left off <laughs> when I realized that the video was not recording anymore. Um, I 
started planning in 2015 when I started college. I had my son. He was a year old at that point. I was starting college. My husband was going to college. We were living with our in-laws. Um, my sister-in-law was going to college. Like, we were all kind of going back to school um, and figuring things out and everything. And I just needed a planner like something a system that really really worked so I started investigating planning again like I did planning when I was a kid like in school and everything else and I really liked it and I liked stickers growing up but I just did not I wasn't in, like I had not been introduced to the planner community yet um and how I got introduced to the planner community is the next question or is in second part to that question and I, it was through Glam Planner, I found her videos online and started watching and then just dived into Etsy and dived into the world of the planner community and uh, stickers and planning and then, you know, I took a break um, before, um, I took a break is this a sticker or is he or are these okay i'm trying to remember actually i don't think these are stickers i think these are just die cuts so i'm going to instead of trying to play with it until i potentially ruin it i'm going to just stick them down um or put little sticky things on it i'm gonna still oh it's this way okay nope you stay there Okay, and then um, I uh, I took a break after I got done with college and I was working. I just really couldn't afford it anymore. I'd kind of just gone incredibly crazy with it. What happened to this one? It's all yellowed. That's not cool. Um, I kind of just... I got really excessive and crazy and I just new job new kind of like life stuff going on I just couldn't oh no that's a bad idea I need to put down this one first so actually I'm gonna put this one down before I actually completely put down the Chloe bottle um so yeah anyway so I took a break for like two or three years and then when COVID started I came back and that's when I started my channel and started doing what I'm doing now and I love it. I really enjoy it. It's a great hobby. I really enjoy doing it. And I'm glad I found it. Found it again. Found it originally and found it again. Because I needed it in my life at those times. And in this time as well. So. Yeah. It's been amazing. An amazing journey. Oh. Okay, and then, oh, that's the backing to that. It's garbage. Oh, did we run out? No, we're out of tape, and I don't remember where I stored my others, if I have others. I think I do. So, one second. I'll just keep answering questions while I look for it in my planner supplies. Um, life before planning. Productive or not? Nah? <laughs> uh, life before planning. It was life. Like, I was in the army. I didn't really need to plan my days because they were basically planned for me. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of like, it was productive because I didn't have much going on in my life. Um, even after I got out of the army and I had my son, that first year of his life was basically all about him. And I didn't really have a life. <laughs> so, um, to be frank and honest, um, I, all my friends were moms at that time we were living in New York and all my I, my whole life became just about being a mom um and I had mom friends and basically I lived with my one of my mom friends one of my best friends um at the time I, and um she was a mom and so like our life just kind of revolved around being moms so yeah I was productive because that was my life um and I didn't really have as much going on once I did get into college and then had my son and had personal stuff going on and just like everything everywhere happening it became less productive until I did my life before planning uh, my layout preference 
is different for each planner I have. I definitely um, prefer vertical for memory planning um, and it is very, this one's sticky-ish enough. We'll just put it down because I just keep flinging it around everywhere and I don't want it to go anywhere. Okay, um, I can't find, I don't know if I actually have more, I don't know why though, but apparently I didn't buy more of the sticky stuff. I think I do have double-sided tape I can use though, but I really like those little gun things. I forgot what I was doing for a second, just trying to answer questions. I'm sorry for all the zipper noises and extra noises going on. I'm just like digging into all my planner stuff, trying to find another sticky tape, but I guess we will just have to use some of this, which will be really hard to do on this little tiny, um, I will definitely have to cut these into like tiny strips for this one. Okay, let's see if that works. If I can fit this on here. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, Layout program, sorry. Um, and then when it comes to my pocket, I have like basically kind of a vertical, tiny, tiny vertical system. Um, and it works perfectly. Like it's just me kind of tracking my day to day. So it's not a big thing. Plus I have a big habit tracker insert that I have for it. So that helps me track a lot of stuff. I prefer, definitely like that layout. Um, and it's very productive, which is the other part of it, which productive or not. Nah. Um, and then, um, I also, in my work planner currently, it is a horizontal system and it works fine, but I just don't have a lot of room to write, but there's a huge note page. It's like a whole, it's a week, a uh, horizontal week on two pages. So one or on one page and then the other page is a note page so yeah horizontal week on one page and then note page but i'm switching to a daily um planner a hobonichi but actually i also have another sticker guru one I'm just, so now i'm going between the two but i think i'll start out with the hobonichi and see how i like it it's smaller um than what i'm using now but i think it'll be better because I can do day by day and that it's bigger in that regard of like my whole day can fit I can fit more in the day of what I need to do so we'll see how productive those are for me um do you prefer sticker kits or create my own spreads if you've watched my planner videos you know I love sticker kits <laughs> I love to make it easy on myself uh I am not so crazy creative that I can just build up my own kits I kind of I stopped getting sticker kit oops bundles because I wanted, unless they were whole kits together, because I, I just can't, I just don't have the energy for that when it comes to planning. What I enjoy is like character stickers, laying those down and like laying down the kits themselves and making it all come together. But having to also piece together the kit itself and not just having options available to me already would not be fun for me. So here is January. Um, I have, I don't really have like just Disney themed stuff though for February or for March. I do have just like stuff that's actually themed. So I have Valentine's Day stuff. That's not it. Um, I do have Valentine's Day stuff and I do have, um, March stuff. And then as you see, I have some stuff for, that would be good for December and winter time, but I kind of want to wait, like wait to do this. So I think I'm just going to find, just kind of store this stuff um but I did want to use some of these so we'll play around with that a little bit and see so I think the rest of this will just get saved until and then maybe I'll do like a month by month one and again like I said before I'll just do like an update video halfway through the year and show you what um January to June ended up fully looking like or January you've seen now and then um kind of looking at what um what the other months will look, will end up looking like. But so far, this is the inside setup of my planner. Oh my gosh, I got cut off again, this time because my storage was full. So I had to clear some things out. Um, so let's finish this video <laughs> before it gets cut off again. 
Um, so I did have this and I wanted to see if I wanted to use any of these stickers, but I was thinking maybe it would be cute. There was these clear coats, quote, clear quotes, holy crap here in gold but they're in gold and the january is in rose gold so then i was thinking maybe not um but i could always yeah i don't know i was thinking if some of these stickers kind of matched in color to the like they do or she does is her name merryweather or something like that little merry weather in here um just be cute to kind of fill the space up a little bit more so we'll just tentatively put her tentatively put her there and then oh there's a little mouse too actually she kind of matches the color scheme i don't know that she had a name But that'll kind of tape down that. So that's cute. And then adds a little Disney flair to it all. And then was gonna see if some of the deco pages for the princesses had some stuff I could use. I think she'll be too summery for anything. A little bit more spring timey. Ooh, these little sparkles here would be super cute. That's cute, that fills that in a lot better. Uh, I kind of want to use a glass slipper for some reason, but I don't know where to put her. She matches kind of Meriwether's coloring a bit, so maybe we do that. Do it up here. Tie in. Let's see if these were come off paper really easily. Oh, yeah, it did, sweet. There we go. And then, ooh, we have some more sparkles that we can use. I don't wanna over sparkle. Let's see, is there one more spot that we could use like a singular sparkle? I feel like up here, fill that in a bit better. And then, Maybe have this one be over more if it looks easily. I don't know what this. I'm trying to maneuver this paper a bit, but it's hard. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna lift without me messing that up too much, so let's not do that. And then slightly smallering twinkles. Let us fill that in here, and that'll kind of fill that in a bit. Um, no, I wanted it over. Oh, there you go. That lifted much better, or easy, more easily than that one did. I wanted to kind of turn that. Okay. Okay. There we go. That adds some. Well, you weren't really seeing quite as much of it, but there we go. That adds some twinkly bits to to that, and then. I don't think anything from Snow White could really be used. It's not really like wintered colors. Mm. 
I'm just going back through and I want to see. Have a brave heart, never afraid to chase your dreams, and never be afraid to chase your dreams. Dream with all your heart, see the good in every day. I like that. Never be afraid to chase your dreams over the castle. Oh, I should have done the blue. That would have gone pretty too, but I like that with the foil. That looks cute. It's like a foil overlay. A giant foil overlay. Okay. So, there we go. We've got some gold and rose gold and silver elements. So, bringing in all those three kind of vibes in there. Love it. It looks good. I'm proud. I'm happy. I'm satisfied, I think. <laughs> um, and then again, just another quick look for you guys of what the front looks like. And I'm going to leave these like this for now, just in case one, if I want to switch things out eventually, like if I get some other stickers I'd rather have up here permanently. Um, but for now, I think this is good. And it will also see if I need to put any of these down um, more permanently, because I don't think I do, to be honest. But um, I think they'll stay pretty well, especially because one, I don't move this planner around very much, but there we go. All right. So thank you so much for joining me for this video as crazy and chaotic as it has been. Um, I will finish the rest of the, um, let's see, what did I end with? Do you prefer sticker kits? Um, okay. So I'll, uh, take those off my list and then that way I know exactly where I left off and the next time I do a planner video of some kind and want some to answer some questions get to know me questions but yeah so there we go this is it thank you so much for joining me please comment like subscribe if you did enjoy and I will see you in the next one bye